Yes, there is porn in my title, and no, there are no samples. <laughs> but Destiny is the equivalent now of some bad porn. I'm not talking like fetish porn or anything. I'm not talking about two girls in one cup type shit or bestiality or she male porn or the YouTube order going and fuck himself or anything like that. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about shit that a normal guy would lose a heart on on. I'm talking about bad porn as in the girl isn't interested, the dude goes all wet and new, needs a blue pill to keep his shit up, the cameraman's in the fucking way, girl's a giant pimp on her ass, you know, exaggerating her moles as if she's enjoying some three inch limp sausage. You're in the lead. <laughs> but you still manage to rub one out because you ain't got nothing else better to do. So in the end, you still win. And if you have no clue what the fuck I'm talking about, Pornhub links are not allowed for me to provide some examples. <laughs> now, real quick, if you had the name three to five overly hyped, overly marketed games that didn't deliver and fell short of the hype what would you come up with no man's sky crisis grand theft auto 5 online when it first launched it's obviously gotten better evolve fable final fantasy 13 no matter what game you come up with no matter how many games you can think of destiny would almost have to be included on any list of overhyped over-marketed games. Activision managed to capture people's attention five years ago with the concept of Destiny. The excitement for PlayStation owners that Bungie's independence meant they were going to receive a product from the studio for the first time, plus the initial PlayStation 4 versus Xbox fanboy wars where PlayStation 4 clearly outmarketed Xbox, and Bungie giving us exclusive shit that Xbox wouldn't get, it led to Destiny being a game that appeared to be something fantastic. People were excited for that shit. People wanted that shit. And anyone that has ever visited Pornhub and seen a fantastic thumbnail of some attractive chick and ready to do something nasty knows visual marketing is an excellent tool enticing buyers. Upon buying Vanilla Destiny all those years ago, it was like an excellent thumbnail with a perfect pair of titties on a nice body. However, you got to play that shit and the more you played it, you realize the game wasn't what was advertised. This wasn't a glorious RPG. It wasn't even a long fucking campaign. Basically, the game was a ghost scanning shit and you killing shit. That was it. That was the entire fucking game. So imagine clicking that thumbnail, thinking you're going to get some awesome video, and then what you get is some chick without makeup. Now you can see her horrible skin and shit, probably all fucked up from taking one too many money shots to the face. The video was like pre-implant. So instead of some fake double D's that you see on the thumbnail, this chick got two saggy titties that are a different size. It's like, what the fuck happened? And the video is like 10 minutes. So you're thinking, okay, there's going to be some action. Meanwhile, it's just like a 10 minute loop video of two minutes of action because the dude popped too early. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't show me some repeat shit, man. Destiny had some stale voice acting. Absolutely no story at all. That's like, you ever watch those videos where a cameraman wants to interview the porn star before she fucks? She's asking them, you know, how old are you? What is your favorite position? Does your daddy know you take it in the ass for money? It's like, you know, shit nobody gives a fuck about. I don't give a fuck what her favorite food is. And no matter what you ask her, oh, what's your favorite position? It's basically gonna be whatever the fuck she's gonna do in the goddamn video, you dumbass. God, this shit is fucking annoying. Anyway, man, in Destiny, you had the nerve to give us shitty rewards. Remember the vault of glass drop rate? Or how long it took to get a fucking Gallahorn? Or oh, I got plenty of those shit, so how long it took everyone else? <laughs> or purple engrams turning into blue items? That was fucking annoying. It's like the guy finishing with just a dribble, and even the girl's looking at him like, that's it? You just ran me in my throat for 15 fucking minutes, and that's the best you can do? So there is no question, Destiny is the equivalent of bad porn. But even though it was some bad porn, you still managed to bust a nut on it, and you probably never even went back to the damn thing. So for people who left Destiny in year one, whenever you decided to leave this shit, I don't blame you one iota. The game was overmarketed. It was overhyped. It did not deliver upon release. It has major flaws. It still has major flaws. Leaving the game was probably the right decision if the shit frustrated you beyond belief. However, I will say this. As someone who stupidly stood by the game, as someone who prepaid for the Dark Below and the House of Wolves DLC, then I got to take things for free, but I'm not gonna talk about that shit right now. I will say that Destiny has changed. Destiny has massively improved since launch. And I can honestly say, this is the game, for all of its flaws, that has turned into a pretty damn good game. Of course, it took fucking money to get to that point, but right now, the game is worlds better than what it released at launch. It is a complete 180 degree reverse of what happened at launch. You know, that's like being asked to pay for premium content on a porn channel. <laughs> you see that shit? They want you to pay on a free site for fucking porn. And they put all the top quality shit behind a paywall. If you want to see the best actresses in HD porn and all the skanks that haven't been turned into a hot, ugly mess yet, now you need to pay. Fuck that shit, man. I don't need to see full Brazzers videos. I just want to see the highlights of the motherfucker. Fuck that. Lisa and retired. 
all her videos should be in the free section. So don't go tricking people into adding her old content into the paid section like you're getting something new. Get the fuck out of here with that crap. I ain't falling for that shit. Destiny, though, still has that paywall. Although, people can get a really good deal on prior content. Matter of fact, I just saw online that they were selling Destiny, the new Call of Duty, and the remaster shit for like, I think it was like 60, 70 bucks, 80 bucks, whatever it was on PlayStation, whatever the hell it was. It was like some Christmas sale or whatever. Shit. That's a pretty good fucking deal. The problem is, it's three games that nobody wants to play. <laughs> But in any event, even if you buy that shit, it's not like you'd be able to really play that content since most of that shit is outdated. But I will have to say this. As a player who stuck with the game from the very beginning to what the game has turned into now, content-wise, the game does offer you quite a bit now. and honestly feels like this is the amount of content the game should have rolled out from the very beginning. But they made us pay for it all these fucking years. For all the deserved bad press for all the average reviews the game received and all the mistakes and mishaps the game still has, there's no denying Destiny is the most successful gaming failure ever created. I'm serious about that. No matter how you view the game, people agree the launch was terrible, no doubt about that. But people will also agree that the game has transformed since it's launched and improved drastically from a content perspective, similar to what Grand Theft Auto Online has done to itself over the past couple of years. The storytelling and the narrative still have fucking issues. But for a game that was a letdown to hype, for a game that was supposed to be this 10 year Activision moneymaker for a space adventure that doesn't really let you explore shit, the game has stayed relevant for three years. Don't believe me? Go over to Twitch. See where it ranks in terms of playtime and watch time. Aside from PC genre games like MMOs and MOBAs, you know, League of Legends, uh, Dota 2, whatever the fuck that is, Overwatch, which I know it's a console game, but the majority of the games that rank ahead of Destiny are games that have some competitive eSport connection to the motherfuckers, but Destiny still chugging along. It's weird that a game that failed to deliver has managed to still maintain a loyal following and improve from the PR disaster that was his first fucking year. You know, it's like one of those awful porn shoots that magically learns how to improve on production quality and turns into something decent. That's like home amateurs getting an HD GoPro and then having a professional makeup artist give the girl a makeover so she doesn't look like a fucking World of War nerd reject. <laughs> Essentially, it's improved. Is the game perfect? Absolutely not. But it is a drastic change from what the game actually launched at all those years ago. Now, as for Destiny's future, I'm going to make a fairly safe prediction here. Bungie learned quite a number of lessons since the game released. The overwhelming majority of improvements the game has experienced was because they started listening to the fan base on simple and common sense improvements. So here's what I see for the future. For the next game, Destiny 2, whatever the fuck it's going to be called. It's going to be a much bigger, much grander scaling game. Obviously, the older consoles held this shit back a little bit, but I see the next game being much bigger than what we have right now. I see the game being revamped from all the complaints and suggestions the community made into something more grand and less grindy than it is right now. But the biggest improvement they're going to make is going to be the story. Right now, we still don't know shit about the travel. Seriously, not a fucking thing. We had four DLC packs, and none of them made any attempts at getting the Traveler involved in the fucking story. The Dark Below had little pieces, House of Wolves are virtually nothing. Ten King only talked about that shit in the Grimoire section where you have to go to a fucking external website to find that shit. And Rise of Iron makes one mention of the Traveler while you fight off a fucking nanovirus. That's going to change. What is basically the core and heart of the game is finally going to take center stage in the next game. Because after all, at some point, they have to explain what the motherfucker is, right? At some point, they need to get their shit together and give us a complete story as opposed to the bullshit that they've been giving us. I see Destiny 2 following the same path that Assassin's Creed 2 follows. Assassin's Creed 1 was a limited and relatively weak game. It had the same problems where Destiny has, with repetitive and very little content. Ubisoft learned from their mistakes and created Assassin's Creed 2, which was a completely revamped game and pretty much set that franchise in motion. That's what I'm expecting for Destiny. Bungie is not a completely incompetent studio. Partially incompetent, but not completely incompetent. <laughs> can't imagine they fuck up another storyline in the game considering the amount of feedback the fans have given over this shit so my guess the next game is going to be a quality game compared to what they offer now because after all mass effect andromeda is going to be releasing soon and if that game is on point then they're gonna have no choice but to meet its quality level i mean shit why else do you think porn stars get implants because they need to be the most attractive skank to make the most amount of money <laughs> bungie knows this so just as a porn star has to step up their game I expect Bungie to do so, because they both still want their fans to rub one out and be satisfied, right? <laughs> Anyways, obviously I'm not able to post up any samples of what Destiny is equated to, but you guys get the gist of what I'm talking about. So anyway, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit, and I'll see you guys in the next video.